Hi, my name is Brian Dollard. With me is my good friend Yuji, and welcome to Look at Rico Live. Uh, today, as promised, we wanted to talk to you about some of the new innovations with our fifth color on our uh, C7100 series. Um, and for those of you that don't know, this is a product that, when originally came out, uh, came with a fifth station, so we've gone beyond just CMYK in our industry, and we're starting to expand uh, to a much broader palette for really giving a wider variety of applications. First, starting off with uh, what was a clear UV toner, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a clear toner, and then uh, we, at the same time we added uh, a white toner. And you can see by this piece that Yuji's, that Yuji's holding up, uh, it shows solid white on a black background. This is actually printed on a, uh, on a th very thick synthetic stock as well. So it gives you that e extra added flexibility of, uh, you know, with the media. But then it also um, takes that white toner and uses it in a different way. Not just putting white on black, but it gives us the opportunity to print full color on the black by putting the uh, white toner behind it. So it gives you a lot of flexibility from a design, from a design standpoint. And, and again, that was our first iteration of that fifth unit. Well, we weren't stopped there. We want our customers to continue to be able to expand the possibilities with their technology. So we followed that up shortly after with a neon yellow. So again, opening up a much, much broader range of applications by giving us an expanded palette uh, uh, for the designers to work from and being able to give a color range that otherwise wouldn't be uh, achievable with just CMYK. Well, we're not done there because here we are at Print 17 in Chicago at the McCormick Center uh, and right down the street from uh, what, what, what's the tryouts down there? American, American Idol. American Idol tryouts and a bunch of screaming 13 year olds. But here we are, we want to introduce our new color, neon pink. And as you can see, much like the neon yellow, this is about what is the design community going to be able to do with this and how can we incorporate this in a variety of different ways. An expanded color palette and I think more importantly for our customers, it gives them that competitive edge out in the marketplace to be able to produce you know, beyond that ordinary CMYK. And as you can see, Yoji's got a couple of really neat examples of how this can be used. And again, you would never achieve these results uh, with a traditional CMYK digital press. But we haven't stopped there. And we've got another very exciting uh, piece that really opens up a whole new area of printing. Uh, and that is what we call our UV red security toner. Uh, and this is on display at the booth. And what that does is it prints a toner that by the naked eye you wouldn't be able to see, but it only shows up, uh, as Yuji is showing you, only shows up when a, a UV light is, is put on it. Why is that important? So in the United States, um, counterfeit, uh, counterfeit items account for up to $800 billion a year annually. Another great example that gets a little closer to home for us in the printing business is uh, Two years ago at the uh, Super Bowl, uh, there were counterfeit uh, Super Bowl tickets, which cost people upwards of $39 million. Well, the ring that was putting these tickets together all got arrested. So I'm not going to feel too sorry for the NFL for two very important reasons. The terrible treatment of my beloved New England Patriots and the greatest quarterback of all time, Tom Brady. But we'll set that aside. But more importantly, the NFL works with the FBI. They have their own security department. They get very high value items. They can do some very sophisticated and intricate things with their products, like the tickets, put in holograms, and all sorts of protections. And guess what? It worked for them at the Super Bowl. These people got caught. Um, so they have a they have a luxury that make perhaps the, uh, you know the, the 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 business in your hometown doesn't have. And I think the impact here is we're bringing this very sophisticated technology and we're making it much more accessible. And think about how this plays you know, in Main Street in the town that you live in. You know, we've all been to events where we have tickets. We've all been uh, to a spa or to a 
a, a pet store in the town that we live in and we get a gift uh, a gift certificate. And those of us in the printing business always look at it and say, oh, I could print a lot of these on my device, but we don't do it because it's not the right thing to do. Well, unfortunately, those small business, peoples in the, business people in the town that you live in, they don't have that luxury. They don't have the sophisticated technology. Um, uh, they don't even have the understanding of how can I prevent these counterfeit measures. So what this does, it allows the commercial printers in your own community to reach out to those small businesses and say, we've got ways to protect you. You know, you can't see that image that's on here, and this could very well be a ticket to event at a small theater in the town that you're in. You apply that red light, and suddenly that image appears, and from your customer's perspective, the only investment they need to make is a $10 flashlight that has UV light in it. So we take that and then it really allows that commercial printer now to go out to the community, have a very, very different conversation with their customers or their potential customers. They're not going out talking about their printing or wanting to quote on their printing. They're talking about some of the, biz the, the problems they experience on a day-to-day -day basis and how can we go and help stop the bleeding. For the commercial printer, two advantages. You have a very different conversation as I stated and the other thing too is there's not a great investment on your part outside of that black light and a bottle of toner and it's really as simple as that. Um, this is something that we're showing at the event today. We're looking to launch uh, in the future and, uh, and for us and for our customers it's really about being able to leverage their, their, the investment in their technology to a much greater extent than than perhaps they had originally planned. Again, it also gives them a competitive advantage out in the marketplace because their competitors don't have this technology available to them in a way that's so affordable and accessible. So we're gonna be at uh, booth 2022. If you're coming down to, uh, to print 17, please stop by. We're demonstrating it. You can see it firsthand uh, how this all works. Uh, but it's not just about the UV red. You can come down, you can see the neon, uh, neon yellow, neon pink, as well as the white, uh, uh, the clear and the white. And there's a whole variety of applications on display throughout the booth. In fact, we've had this contest, it's our color innovation contest, where a number of our customers have submitted entries of various applications, unique applications, and we're gonna be awarding uh, the winner at the end of this event, and perhaps you can come down and vote yourselves. So, with that said, I strongly encourage you to come down here. And the last thing I'd like to point out to you is, at, at Rico, we don't only you know, ask our customers to embrace our neon pink. Yuji, show us what you got. Now, I don't, know if I'd, I don't know if I'd be caught dead in those things, but you have to appreciate the guy's passion for our technology and the direction we're taking our customers. So, Yuji, thank you. Thank you. I thank you. Please stop by.